Well, hundreds of cities across America host races for the cure to raise awareness towards breast cancer. This past Saturday was Brainerd's Race for the Cure, and our own Anthony Scott takes us there for this week's Northwoods Adventure. Hundreds of people were at Forest View Middle School on Saturday for a 5K race, but this wasn't just any other 5K. It's, it's a race to get to the finish line, which means a world without breast cancer. Um, the race was to raise money not, and awareness really. towards okay. breast cancer, a disease that has taken the lives of far too many men and women. Two women die in Minnesota every day. And I think nine are diagnosed, diagnosed every day. And that's way too many. To raise funds for cancer research, individuals and teams signed up for the 5K event and did some fundraising on their own. We fundraise by doing um, our annual recitals, our dance and gymnastics. We did two this year, one in Aiken and one in Crosby. And my mom used to own the studio, and about eight years ago, she was diagnosed with breast cancer, and two years ago, she passed away. At the Race for the Cure, survivors were honored based on how many years they have survived, races were held for kids, and of course, there was the main 5K event. But before the runners could get going, there was a new 0K where participants simply stepped over the finish line to make sure everybody could get involved. We have the 5K five, five run, the 5K walk, a one mile walk, and the 0K and sleep in for the cure. Perfect. So something for everybody. And everyone came out for the cure. It's just heartwarming to see the outpouring of love and support that everybody's given, both from the survivors and also the caregivers. Because of all the support, there has been incredible advancements in cancer research and technology. But I've had cancer two times, and they were eight years apart. And it was interesting because although it was the same cancer, the research has gone so far during that period of time that the treatment was very different. But the fight is not over yet. If the fight goes on, you know, they've made a lot of progress in the years since this communist, this, the Komen Foundation was established, but there's more to do. And we're going to keep fighting until we find a cure for this. Reporting from Baxter for this week's Northwoods Adventure, Anthony Scott, Lakeland News. 100% of the funds raised at the race for the cure go towards cancer research, with 75% staying right here in Minnesota. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.